a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Be safe, be healthy. Give a present to yourself. Let's go to the movies. Hey, there you go. Hey, let's yeah. talk about Babylon. Yeah. Let's. Uh, what, do you, what do you got for us? Yes, got Babylon in theaters Friday, December 23rd. This film is a second in what I presume is a series of films set in Los Angeles by La La Land writer-director Damien Chazelle, and it best can be described as a non-musical R-rated singing in the rain. The years depicted are 1926 through the early 1930s, when the movies made the transition from silent to talkies. Brad Pitt is Jack Conrad, the biggest male star at MGM. Margot Robbie is Nellie Leroy, a new sensation who comes along right as silent movies end, and they both have difficulty making the transition to talking on screen with different results. Diego Torres is Manny, who portrays an up-and-coming studio exec who is a quasi-tour guide through the whole glorious mess, including a stop in what is called the A-hole of Los Angeles. And finally, on-fire character actor Gene Smart plays a manipulative gossip columnist. Now, this was fascinating for a film historian like myself, Scott, as Jack Conrad is a substitute for real-life silent movie-era star John Gilbert, with Nellie Leroy much like Clara Bow. And also, there were actual stars of the era who are depicted. It's not so much a plot as a series of weird and amazing misadventures. The film begins with an epic drug and sexual party, goes on set with Conrad and Manny going in different and crazy directions, and Margot Robbie expresses her character with virtually no filter in the way. It's all we're seeing for a glimpse into a show business that will never exist that way again. Babylon, four out of five, in theaters, Friday, December 23rd.